Now to talk more about this, this clean energy push, electric batteries and more today. Joining me is the Indonesia Battery Corporation Director of Institutional Relations, Renaldi Istanto. Thank you so much for dropping by to our studios. Our pleasure. All right, this is a very exciting topic. Of course, clean, sustainable energy is being pushed uh, greatly by the Indonesian government and also by corporations as well. But first of all, we want to know more about the Indonesia Battery Corporation. When was it established? What is it exactly? And what is its goal? Okay. So actually, the idea of establishing Indonesia Battery Corporation start from uh, 2021, yeah. where we see that Indonesia has a huge potential in downstreaming EV battery ecosystem. Mm. If we see that Indonesia has a strong economic power, we are uh, part of G20 countries, and also in terms of natural resources, almost all net mineral resources that Indonesia has uh, already can be 80% uh, of uh, EV battery materials. So that's why Indonesia Battery Corporation uh, established uh, to downstream the industry of EV battery and also to create the market of EV in uh, Indonesia. If we talk about the natural resources in Indonesia, mm -hmm. the, the global demand for EV battery now is around 800 gigawatt. But only from state-owned enterprises ecosystem, yeah. we already have a, around 400 gigawatt mm, nickel materials. So right. that's why a huge potential for Indonesia to downstream the industry and we also need to create the new economic growth here. Yeah. That's why new industry needs to be established and IBC hopefully can be a new energy materials uh, ecosystem with a uh, huge potential to be a new economic growth and uh, IBC also has a four shareholders yeah. namely Antam, Inalum, Pertamina Power and also PLN. Those uh, four shareholders uh, together establish the IBC to create the ecosystem ranging from the upstream to the downstream. From the upstream, we start with the nickel refineries. We also we create uh, battery materials, battery cell, and also we create the ecosystem for the uh, battery cell, battery pack, and also ch uh, charging infrastructure for battery swap system. Right, so the, the aim is, of course, to make a new energy materials, yes. uh, like you said, so forth charging for but EV batteries as well specifically um and also there are reports if i may ask that uh ibc is working together with foreign companies you know to produce those batteries can you speak more about that yeah the idea of uh, establishing ibc also to make an investment holding yeah. in the new energy materials ecosystem so all for uh, shareholders is a top player in their own industry and tam has a huge natural resources sure. and also pertamina and pln has a strong uh, market uh, penetration in Indonesia. That's why the electricity comes from PLN uh, and also with the di distribution channel of Pertamina, we can optimize the opportunities of uh, IBC. And also, we also collaborate with the global partners uh, to establish end-to-end -end battery ecosystem here. Uh, we already have a two partnership with uh, CITL and LG right. to establish the EV ecosystem in Indonesia ranging from smelter to a battery cell and battery pack. Also battery recycling, right. that's an interesting uh, point because uh, battery recycle is needed in the future. Mm -hmm. If we are talking about the circular economy, yeah. we need to have a battery recycle here. We are preparing the industry to be more sustainable be cleaner. That's why battery recycle is crucial. Right, because if I'm not wrong, the EV batteries, they last, last about 10 years, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's important to recycle them and then use them yeah. again to make new batteries. Um, I mean, if I may ask, what is sort of the end goal here? Is it just to create an ecosystem where um, you, know, you make EV batteries or is there much more than that? Maybe Indonesia can be a manufacturing powerhouse in EVs as well. The ambition is become regional EV and ESS energy storage system battery hub. Right. So we want to be a champion in the regional as a battery ecosystem player. Okay. As I mentioned before, we have strong uh, natural resources reserve. Yeah. That's why it needs to be utilized uh, into a battery production. And that's why the government is very serious uh, to establish this industry. Some incentive already applied uh, in the Indonesia. And uh, as we see that the growth of EV now is uh, robust. Mm. We can see from the motorcycle, now it's already around 35,000 
motorcycle EV, yeah. and also for the EV car, uh, the growth is uh, around uh, 12,000 now. And uh, we also com have a competition with our neighbor, with Thailand. If we see the uh, Thailand EV penetration is now is around 18%, and Indonesia just 1%. Mm. So that's why this ecosystem needs to be pushed into a new economic growth of Indonesia. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And of course, uh, we have that potential, we have the resources, as you, you mentioned several times. Now, uh, I, I want to talk about the, the story that I, um, that I mentioned before uh, our interview started, the new energy ecosystem. Talk to us more about it. how, what is this ecosystem, how will it work, and how does the recent MOU with seven state-owned companies accelerate the yeah. ecosystem? The, the reason uh, MOU with the state-owned enterprises aim to establish new energy ecosystem, which means that we create beyond EV and battery ecosystem. We also utilize the establishment of our shareholders with the product of a solar panel and also new and renewable uh, battery uh, ecosystem and also new and renewable energy. So yeah. that's why we pilot. We start pilot with seven companies ranging from the battery energy storage. Uh, battery for uh, electric vehicle, battery swap system, and uh, all of the uh, implementation use clean energy. That's why we call it new energy ecosystem, because we open, create, and market, and also we utilize the new energy resources as the main resources for the electricity. Mm. So uh, if, if I'm getting this correctly, the, the these uh, specifically at the start, these seven state-owned companies will use maybe electric vehicles for their operations and then... Yeah, not only use electric vehicle, yep. but we also explore to uh, establish local assembly. That's why we collaborate with the defense industry, right. with land. We aim uh, to establish the local manufacturer with the global brand here, and we also open the collaboration with uh, land uh, to, to explore the potential of our battery cell to implement to their vehicle. Okay. So, so that's why the creating market is crucial. Mm. And also we explore with the KAI, Indonesia Railway Industry, yeah. and also INCA, Indonesia Railway Manufacturer, to support their genset, uh, safe change to the uh, battery energy storage as backup. So it makes more greener energy. Right, that's very important. Uh, especially nowadays, the whole world is moving towards clean energy. Uh, so. I mean, you, we, we, we've already been talking about the initiatives that we've seen so far, but what can we expect uh, more in the future from IBC? Okay, so as I mentioned, IBC mandate is to be a global you know, company in battery ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Our ambition, we, in 2034, we aim to establish a 50 gigawatt of battery cell manufacturing, okay. 300,000 kiloton processed nickel more than 100,000 of a battery swap system. So that's why in the near future, we will start with the battery swap system first. Okay. Battery swap system is crucial because if we see the electric vehicle price, 40% of the electric vehicle price is battery. Mm. So if we decouple the battery from the electric vehicle, it can reduce the cost. And also it makes more sustainable uh, ecosystem because uh, the customer doesn't need to buy the battery. The battery is owned by IBC and if the battery is uh, already reached their limit, we can recycle it directly. Mm -hmm. So the circular economic concept will be implemented there. Okay, great. So this is a very exciting uh, time. Of course, Indonesia has a great potential for the EB, uh, EV excuse me, and sustainable energy push. Uh, Renaldi Istanto, Indonesia Battery Corporation, Director of Institutional Relations. Thank you so much uh, for coming to our studios and sharing to us Indonesia's big push towards EVs. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to go for a short break, but when we return, we will have our daily recap from the first session of trading on the Indonesian stock market. Stay tuned on C Today Business. <laughs>